My name is Wesley Wallison, and I'm a defense attorney for a small private practice. The day began like any other Friday beside the fact that I was late for court. This was a most inauspicious beginning to an even more inauspicious day. Southwest side. What's the tip this time? To advise Craig Marks on his choices. Oh, yeah. He's under police protection. Another recall assignment, huh? These last five days have been hell. Think about it after this assignment, taking a two-week vacation. Think about heading down to the islands. Islands? Yeah, the Florida Keys. Those ain't islands. You know what I had to play with as a kid? What? You know what? what? A stick. A stick? A stick. Wait, what are you looking at like that for? I had a stick to play with. That's all. So my old man gave me a stick and he told me to go out in the yard and stick stuff. So out there sticking dogs and cars and stuff like that. Okay. It's like that piece of garbage you're watching over there, huh? huh? Yeah. Run around this neighborhood like a fucking drunk Indian taking advantage of people. You know what his fucking problem is? What? Huh? Huh? No parental guidance. Well, I agree with you, man. That's what makes us two of the highest paid babysitters there are. Fuck it! Mr. Craig! Would you like to try your luck, Mr. Craig? You are Craig Marks, are you not? Who the hell are you? I'm the guy on the safe end of this 9mm. You are the fucking snitch. Hello, snitchy. Snitch? No, you got the wrong guy. Look, I don't even know them. Matter of fact, this ain't even my room. I just be leaving right here. Believe it or not, Rico doesn't appreciate you trying to testify against members of his organization, so he sent me down here to give you another chance. Because under Rico's forgiveness rule, everyone gets a second chance to make the right choice. So don't be like these deadbeats that I see over here, choosing unwisely. Because if you do choose unwisely and show your ugly face in court this morning, you will surely be held accountable. And just like I found you this morning, I'll find you this evening. Let me see you again, man. When your oxygen membership has been revoked. Do you understand the choice that you need to make, Mr. Craig? I understand. I understand. I understand. Okay. 
I love dealing with reasonable people. If I was you, bro, I'd get out of town the fast as I could. You know, hold some ass. Okay, all right. Sorry about the interruption, boys. I'm out. A jam? A type of low life? No, Ronald. Another jam, right? Just about. You ready for round two? Who is that? Just a friend, Craig. Word. I wasn't last night. Look, tell him he got. <laughs> Security breach, but you had a first team protecting you now. Oh, what the hell were they? Junior Varsity? Look, I'm telling the judge, I don't know shit. Testify against Rico's men? Or you're going to prison. That's three strikes and you're out. 25 to life count. That's some guy named Jimbo would turn you into his little bitch. Sell you for a pack of smokes. After you toss the salad. What about my new identity? It's all in the truck, Mr. Juan John Sanchez. Hey, I ain't wearing no damn suit. Another victory. Even after the prosecutors tried to sandbag us. Two and oh. I thought that the day couldn't get any better. I was right. While I was basking in the afterglow of the proper and just verdict, the court appointed me a client who had just been released from the county on bail for credit card fraud. Because my client was under house arrest, I thought I would drive over to his home and go over the facts of the case. Craig, I want to let you know, did a fine job today on the witness stand. 
think you gave the prosecution enough testimony to persuade the jury to render a guilty verdict. After you testify in front of the defense, you'll be off to Puerto Rico. Look, you best just worry about protecting me from Rico. Ain't no telling who down with him. No one dies on my watch. Don't get paranoid about what happened earlier. Besides, there's only one other person that knows of our whereabouts. Rico ain't no weak ass Scarface. All I'm saying is people mysteriously wind up dead when they go against Rico. Oh, so now you're putting this Rico on the status of a recent president in this guy. <laughs> Y'all think this a goddamn joke? Right after I testify, I'm getting the hell out of here. I'm going to Puerto Rico. Love Island women. And says, mm, mm, mm. Look at her sexy ass. Stomach growling. Getting hungry up in here. Yeah, I'm pretty famished myself. Full house. Today must be a lucky day. I'm gonna go to the burger chef across the street and pick up some food. Yeah, why don't you get a couple bacon cheeseburgers and fries? Don't forget my pop this time. Yeah, hustle your ass up. I would suggest you lose that attitude toward us before I turn you over to Rico, my damn self. I'll be back in 10 minutes. I will hurt, hurt, and hurt. All of them. I threw a set on her fat ass and ran all the way to Telegraph Road. Just gonna start jacking off. Nah, <laughs> see a true player gets his females to do that for him. <sighs> Yamo es one death two mathematicus less digits. Bring your ass out from under the bed before I shoot you. Yeah. Now! Had like a little bitch won't help. You see, Rico gave you a choice. Yep. And now there's a toll that must be paid. Wait. They told me if I didn't testify, I'd go back to prison for life. Who fucking who? Rico gave you a choice to live this morning and you blatantly defied him. it's time for you to take a ride. What the fuck did you think we were fucking practicing this morning? Wait, wait. I, I gotta go to church. <clears throat> I was eager to begin working on another case. My secretary had given me the wrong directions, but I wasn't worried about getting lost. She just made a minor mistake. <laughs> wrong. The events that were to follow would change my life in the city of Detroit forever. Yeah, Mr. Harold, it's a score. We got him in the trunk. What do you want us to do with him now? I want you to take him to the warehouse and torture him until he tells you where his accomplices are and how they obtain the information. Then kill him. By the time you're done, the cleaner should be there. Then I want you to pick up a stripper named Naomi over at High Rollers and bring her here to me. Yeah, I thought Mr. Harold wanted us to pick up uh, Craig before he picked up the stripper. Then it doesn't matter. Just drag the bitch out here, blindfold her, and throw her in the back seat.
Hey, calm down. Mr. Harold just wants a word with you. That's all. Oh, who the hell is Mr. Harold? And then I have a whole lot of money. Get off me! Jack her big mouth. Stop! Stop! Stick your little pretty head out the window again, but blow it off. I'll be watching from inside the door. Something told me I shouldn't get involved and let the police handle me. But after seeing that woman tied up, I was compelled to go back. Not to mention the fact that the police in this town would rather attend a sit-in at a donut shop than investigate an actual crime. Oh! So tell me again, Mr. Craig, because I don't ever remember meeting anybody at Rico named Mr. Who gave you the information? I told you. Those crooked ass fans blackmail me to testify. I think you're lying. I have a choice. Man, you always have a choice, Craig. Let me spell it out for you. You're on a cliff. Your mom's in front of you. Do you like your mom? All right. Now this nine millimeter is stuck right in the back of your head and I tell you you can either push your mother off the cliff or I can blow your pointy fucking head off. Do you have a choice? What kind of fucking choice is that? That's what I thought. Wait, wait. I think I hit a cleaner. Hold on. Hey, come on, bro. That's what the white man wanted us to do. All this black on black crime. Why you at that million man mall shit? I should let you go because we both black, right? Hell yeah. Ah! Color don't mean shit to me. Unless it's green. Ah! You give it up yet? No, man, he must be telling the truth, man. Nobody can take this much torture. All operators are still busy. Please remain on the line, and your call will be answered in the order it was received. Good. I guess you were right. 
You know, that cleaner should be here by now. So what are we doing, man? Yeah. Call Mr. Harold to see where that cleaner is. Hey, I never mind that. I think he's here, man. It's about damn time. Just call me Dale Jarrett. Now, I know how it feels to race in the Grand Prix. I lost those thugs on Seven Mile when I ducked into an alley for a pit stop. I was in shock and didn't realize the gravity of the situation. Oh my God. Oh. Nice getaway. Look, first tell me who the hell were those guys? I don't know. All I know is somebody wants to see me. For what? I don't know. Oh, God. I'm just glad. Oh, thank God you came along to save me. Yeah. I just wish I could have saved the other guy. Was he your boyfriend? What other guy? The guy that they killed. What? I I'm sorry. I never should have just said anything like that. I mean, oh, I'm God. not thinking straight. I've never been in anything like this. Oh, my God. I could not believe. I was riding in the car with real life killers? Hey, 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 look, try not to think about that. Okay, what's your name? Naomi. But my friends call me Cream. <laughs> oh, God. What are you, one of those exotic dancers? <laughs> yes. I dance at various strip bars all over the state. Who are you? My name is Wesley Wallace. I'm a lawyer. <laughs> Must be nice. Uh, what is a pretty girl like you doing with such a lousy profession? What? Stripping? I mean, it's just a job. I mean, it's not like I'm a hooker. I just dance. Yeah, but I mean, there's so many other better jobs that you could be doing. <laughs> like what? What, uh, being a secretary? Or a waitress? <laughs> I mean, besides, I just started dancing ever since my fiance disappeared. Plus, I'll probably make more money than you make. <laughs> Is that so? Uh-huh, yeah. Well, where should I drop you off at, huh? West Bloomfield Hills? <laughs> Very funny. But for your information, I live in an apartment downtown, overlooking Canada. <laughs> well, downtown it is, huh? Hey, I know a safe place we can hide, too, at least until these jerks get off our trail. I just got off the phone with my boy Modos, and he said he got a hundred of them boys at AZ or them good green guys, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah? What they going for? About $5 an elbow. Oh, yeah? Hell, yeah. So what's the plan like? Shoot, me and Larry, we fly two girls down there, you know what I'm saying? We come back with the whoop de whoop boom, be all Jesus. You talking about flying? Hell, yeah. Oh, shit, man. How that gonna work? Man, I'm telling you, we got it tight.
That's y'all. That's what I'm talking about. Dude, I'm telling you, you got it tight. Who is it? Who is it? It's, it's Wesley. I'm looking for my cousin, JT. JT? Somebody says he's your cousin? Wesley? My cousin? Up, could you possibly be in? Man, look, I just witnessed a murder a few blocks from here. And, and not, not a killers are chasing us. Chuck. What up, dog? Who's chasing you? Where are they at? No, I, I, I think I lost him in the alley off Seven Mile. It's cool. Let's <laughs> chill, man. What's going on? Yo, get yourself a drink. Let's start from the beginning, okay? Well, I was on my way to a client's house when I noticed these two thugs dragging this guy into a warehouse. Then, then I noticed her in the back seat, blindfolded. So, so, so I grabbed her out of the car and I think they saw me speed off. Yo, tell me they didn't get a good look. I doubt it, I doubt it. But, uh, they probably got to look at my license plate. What else? What, man? I couldn't just let him kill an innocent woman. Yo, how the fuck you know she innocent? Excuse me? You don't even know me. Uh -uh, see, that's what I'm talking about. Forget this, Wesley. I'm out of here. Uh, I ain't got to put up with that. Hey, he didn't mean anything by it. Hey, hold up. You know, I'm trying to go for my cousin, okay? Don't take it personal. Whatever. <laughs> what they want your ass anyway? I don't know. It's probably got something to do with my ex fiance. He always swindling somebody. Probably done took off of somebody's money knowing him. What? Well, you didn't know that. comes out. Uh, uh, whose money was it? Where's the money at now? I don't know. What you think if I knew I'd be sitting here? I mean, they probably thought they could get to him through me. Can they? Hell no. You don't know my ex fiance. He sell his own mama out for money. So where's he at now? If I knew that. I know where the money was. Yo, Wes, let me talk to you in my office for a second, okay, man? Yo, cuz, this girl, she ain't no good for you. you. Gotta get rid of her ass. She won't get you killed. Yo, if I was you, I'd take her ass home, get you a quickie, and forget you ever met her ass. You know what I mean? Maybe you're right, huh? Yo, take my piece with you. Yo, also, don't go back to the apartment for at least a few days. You got your license plate number, most likely they come to pay you a visit. If you want, you can stay with me. I know. I appreciate it, man, but uh, I'll we'll probably stay at the hotel. I love JT's office feeling that this thing would somehow blow over in a couple of days. I was at ease. Maybe two at ease. You know, there's nothing like a donut to elevate your higher consciousness. <laughs> I can see why cops spend all day eating them. Yeah, you're right. Damn! Do we even know how to eat? What the fuck, man? Sorry, just get out! Shit, what the Get out! Yeah. Jesus. Hello? Mr. Harold? Yeah. We took care of the witness. No, sir. There we encountered a little problem. No. We, uh, the stripper got away. No, sir. Some guy stole her out of the car while we were waiting on a cleaner. Yes, sir. I know, but, uh, it's on the way to the warehouse. No, sir. All is not lost. We, uh, we got his license plate number. No, sir, it's his name. It's, uh, Inola. No, sir, I think he's Italian. Inola. Inola. I-N-O-L-A-W. Inola. Hello? Hello? He hung up. Fucking Inola. And he sounds pissed. Now I'm in trouble for your shit. 
Save it, man. He wants to see us in his office right now. Tweedledee and Tweedledum. What? I'll pimp smack your little ass. You couldn't spell ass if I spotted you the A and the S. Sir, the illustrious dream team is here. Tell them to get in here. I find you two cocksuckers. How do you expect me to trust you with an important job if you can't handle a simple one? I'm, I'm sorry, boss. I, I made a mistake. A mistake? You made more than a mistake. This is a fuck up of monumental proportions. And Rico is not very pleased. Good help is so hard to find. Jeffrey, fix me a latte. And be generous with the brandy. You two have drove me back to drinking. I'd bring you to something, but you might lose it. Scarp! Settle down. Are you walking around with blood on your face? It's Deli Donut. What am I going to do with you underlings? I don't pay you to eat donuts like some slime-ass cops. Where is it? Here it is. It seems you two losers were outsmarted by some candy-ass lawyer. The car is registered to a Wesley Wallison. He lives in Bloomfield Towers, apartment 204. You find him, you'll find the girl. Rico says, give him the choice before you kill him. But bring the girl to me this time. Don't disappoint us again. Hey, you know, my apartment leaves must to be desired. How about you just wait here for a minute? I'll be right back. Okay, no problem. All right, thanks a lot. Hold it right there, Mr. Anola. Uh, hey, you, you got the wrong guy. Hey man, shut up. You won't be needing this bad. Take it easy there, cowboy. Hey, hey, tell me what this is all about. Come on, man, don't even try to play us. You know what this is about. Yeah. Yeah, you the two from the warehouse. They killed that guy. 
Look, don't worry, I didn't call the police, all right? Anyway, we go insisted that we came here to pay you a little visit, you know, to give you a choice. <laughs> I got a choice? Yeah, everyone got a choice. The point is this, you have a choice. Turn the stripper over or die a painful death. Yeah, how do I know you won't kill her? I am not here for a fucking discussion with you, and you're in no position to negotiate. I guess some people value their lives more than others. Hey, look, man. The bitch did have some nice-ass titties. But damn, man, is she worth dying over? So what's it gonna be? Speak. Uh, okay, okay, okay. You try to fool me, I'll say that. Back for some fucking fools? Uh, Come on. Cheer us up. What? Mm, a little game of questions. You think questions is gonna cheer me up right now? Yeah. Especially after I had a faster little twist to it. <laughs> uh, what kind of uh, festive little twist, huh? Mm, hold that thought. You'll see. Hey, you know, I don't mean to sound elitist, but uh, what does a stripper need with the computer and a plethora of discs? Hello? This is the information age. Get with it. I mean, besides, my ex was a brilliant executive over at Macro Computer Incorporated. Yeah, but if he was so uh, brilliant, then why is he on the run? Anyway, uh, which one do you prefer, tequila or whiskey? Uh, tequila. Whiskey gets me drunk very quick. Alrighty. Tequila it is. Hmm. Okay. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was it. Alright. Um, this is how we're going to play, okay? I ask you a question, and you answer it, but if you answer it wrong, you either take a shot of tequila, <laughs> or you take off an article of clothing. <laughs> All right, uh, well, what are the categories? Okay, um, the categories are history, science, logic, and geography. I don't know. You probably memorized all the answers, didn't you? No, I haven't. This is just my <laughs> second time playing. For real. Yeah, okay. Well, let me warn you. I'm kind of good in these categories. Oh, yeah. Okay, gotcha. Wait, what are you doing? I haven't even asked a question yet. Rico's gonna fucking kill us. Relax, man. Just let me think. Alright. Alright, look, since we cannot find a stripper, maybe we should contact Mr. Hero. You know, to get some leads from Rico. I'm gonna whip my Noel's ass in triplicate, and then I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> You've been locked up too long, man. As I said, play reads, I know law. Not I know law. Yeah? So? It's a vanity play. Wow, I haven't been this alive in years. I witnessed the murder today, and the killers are hot on my trail. But Naomi had the gift, and she cleared my mind of all worries. Besides, I figured that a police officer friend of mine would find Rico and Naomi's ex, Jacob, and bring this matter to a close. All right, the moment of truth.
now I'm ready and he wanna go to sleep. You missed it. dreams. What dream? Usually, my dreams offer me clues and premonitions as to, as to how to pr proceed in a difficult situation, but uh, this time I couldn't make it out. It was, a, it was a mysterious guy, and I couldn't make out his face. Let's just go back to bed. No, are you sure? Yeah, yeah. Look, I got a long day ahead of me, all right? Okay. You know what? I think I'm gonna go and talk to Jacob's sister tomorrow. Yeah, sounds good. Good morning, Mr. Harold. We got three messages. Mr. Price called and said he wants to reschedule his meeting. We've got two email messages from Rico. Call Jake and Scorp. Tell them to get their asses in here pronto. Yeah, right away, boss. Yeah? We'll be there in 20 minutes. Was that Mr. Hero? No, that was his damn sock puppet. He wants to see us in his office, right now. I can't think on an empty stomach. Hey, why don't you uh, bring me out a dozen jellies? Man? Hell no, man. You don't know how to eat jellies. Custom. You get nothing. Damn. Hey, man. What's up, man? Hey, can you tell me how to get your eight miles? Oh, eight mile, eight mile, about a half a mile down the hey, man. road. Them jellies. Yeah, they're jellies. Oh, give me that shit. Give me the one you got in your hand, too. And take your ass up on our eight mile, man. Hello. Yeah, this is JT. Yeah, your account is delinquent. No, no, no. See, I've been trying to be patient. You trying to play me. <laughs> all right, all right, listen. I'm gonna tell you what then, okay? Tomorrow at 2 p.m., I'm gonna send my pickup man around the seat to pick up 10 G's. If you come back even a dollar short, I'm gonna come and get that 2,000 Lex. You understand me? You know what the problem is, JT? You too damn nice to these people, man. Hell yeah. What we need to do is, me and Larry need to go grab the choppers, Cut a few heads, and I bet you get the respect you deserve. No, when you run in a racket, you can't go around cracking everybody's head. It's bad for business. I, mean, I think some people just be asking for an ass kicking, man. This what the fuck I'm talking about right here. 
Jones money is short. What? A motherfucker brought 20 G's at 100% interest for two weeks. How much should be here? Should be 40 G's in there. Right. This motherfucker got 30,000 a sheet of excuses. Now I'm gonna work at Bank 2, whatever the fuck. But here, my place of business, we ain't having that shit. Right. I pay his ass a little visit later on today. Mm-hmm. Yo. Yo, JT. So Your cousin just pulled up. Let him in. So, Wes. What am I, baby? Yo, oh, man. You won't believe what happened last night. What? Those thugs came to my apartment looking for Naomi. That, that was gonna kill us. You bullshitting. Oh, man, we, we managed to get out of there, though. You know, before they got us, you know? Damn. So where's Naomi at now? Oh, I left her at her apartment, man. Good, good. Look, they said something about they worked for an organizer of crime by the name of uh, Revco or... Revco. Uh, Ricky? R Rico. Rico. Yeah. Yo, you sure he said Rico? Yeah. You know him? Damn, Wes. What you done got yourself into, man? What do you mean? Yo, Rico ain't some two-bit street hustler, dog. Yo, he's like head of organized crime in the state. I'm talking about La Costa Nostra. This motherfucker's like the godfather, only bigger. I'm talking about drugs, gambling, prostitution, illegal real estate deals. He got his finger running all that. Oh, man. So, so you saying he's taxing your business too then, right? Nah. See, even though you know, we loan shark at 100% interest, just the same, this income tax rack's been a pretty good front so far. Yo, while I was on the phone, Shit. I hear something about Rico. Hell yeah. Then the motherfuckers I was chasing the West yesterday. It was Rico's man. Oh shit, that Rico motherfucker. You know? I used to work for Rico's organization back in the day. Oh yeah? Tell me a little bit more about this. See, Rico was funded by city officials to straighten out injustices. Sort of like a vigilante group. It used to be a good organization to work for. That all changed when the law tried to take his ass out. So what happened after that? The federal government came in, tried getting their hands greased. Then all hell broke loose. Motherfuckers started running around, giving folks a choice. And if they made the wrong choice, they just found floating the Detroit River, man. So I got out of there. You know, those guys gave me a choice last night before I escaped. That's their gig. Hey, man, how do you find Rico? I don't know nobody's ever even seen Rico, man. See, he gets in contact with you. You don't be getting in contact with him. You know, somehow, somehow I gotta, I gotta find him. You know, I mean, I even promised Naomi. I gotta make this right. Yo, hold up. Yo, check this out right here, okay? I'm gonna talk to my man Polo. Anybody got the line on Rico, it'd be his ass. Yeah, cool, cool. Look, you know, I'm gonna talk to a friend of mine and uh, see what he can do. You got a cell number? Yeah, yeah, let me get you a card, dog. Shit. Here we go. It's right here. Yeah. Check this out, man. If anything goes on, I want you get at me. I'll meet you up in a few hours. What's going on anyway, okay? Thanks, man. All right, dog. Five years, man. <laughs> wow. Hey, look. I appreciate you meeting me while uh, still on the job. You know? I didn't help an old friend. You sounded very nervous on the phone. Yeah. Well, uh, one tends to sound a little nervous when you got people trying to kill him. Do you have a name? Yeah. You ever heard of Rico? Yeah, why do you ask? Well, I think he's got some men trying to kill me because of this woman that I'm helping. I doubt it. If Rico were after you, you wouldn't be here right now. It's probably just some secondhand thugs from the streets. <laughs> Still, what do you think I should do? First, give me some information on a woman. What are they after her for? Uh, not too sure. But uh, I think her ex owes some money to her. 
Where is she right now? She's uh, she, she's in a safe place. I'd advise you both to under my protection if you want to get out of this thing alive. <sighs> Gotta think this through. You know, I never imagined it to get this deep. What's her name? She goes by the name of Cream. <laughs> hey, she's an innocent woman caught in the middle. It was funny. You said her name was Cream. Yeah. What kind of name is hey, that? Hey, hey, look, that's her stage name, all right? Her real name's Naomi. I get it. You fall in love with a stripper, you lucky dog. <laughs> Well, if I were you, I'd make the right choice. What? Like a hero type, like you were in school. Always quick to help a damsel in distress. Because this ain't college. These street hoods don't wear suits or settle their differences in a courtroom. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. Consider coming down to the station, and maybe I can set up protection for you with me as the point man. Thanks. I'll think about it. All right, man. Be careful. Later. It's great seeing you again. Take it easy. All right. Hey, there you go, right here. It's your pillow, man, right here. Alert is off, man. Your post. What's going on, baby? You know Chuck already. Yeah. Dog off legs and shit. Real motherfucking shit. What's going on with you, man? I see you on some uh, old National Guard military shit up in this month. No doubt, no doubt. What's going on with you, baby? I've been trying to get at you. Oh, you ain't hurt? Nah, what? Spot <clears throat> got ran up in last month. Some dirty ass pigs. Bullshit. And they had us all stretched out like first time offenders. Yeah, what the fuck they want you? Hey, that bastard Rico has something to do with it. He's been sending his zombies by trying to squeeze more money out. Rico? Hold up. I thought you was already paying him 20% already. I was. Now the motherfucker want an extra 20. Uh, Damn blood sucking ass leech. You gonna pay him? Fuck him. Trying to squeeze me out of business. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, he give my cousin some problems too. Oh, yeah. Trying to get out his ass. All I know is I'm tired of that high-profile motherfucker coming to the hood trying to push us around. Right, right. That's exactly why I came to see you, man. So what's it to, baby? How are we gonna do this shit? Glad you asked. I'm gonna set up shop right here in the project. Rico ain't afraid to send his boys down here. What you talking about? Right, but I'll be waiting on him this time. I got this place under tight surveillance, 24 hours a day. Anyone who enters these premises is oh, at my mercy. Yo, so what, you crazy now, right? You gonna take on the feds? Go to go there and fry your tough ass. Hell yeah, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna have to. I'm gonna introduce him to the witch doctor. The what? Ah, <laughs> uh, you got a minute? Yeah, yeah. Let me show you how this shit is done. I see you guys in a few. I gotta make some calls. Alright, man. Alright, sure. I'll be the call. Oh, this is a fucked up ass place, dog. Hey! God damn. Is this some type of underground railroad or something? Man, this shit better be good as hell. Let me go up in that kid. This motherfucker ruining my shoes and shit. What the fuck is up? God damn. Just in time for the ritual. This is what happens to feds. Crooked ass cops. Feds. Bitches and I was just bullshitting Polo, man! Ah! What compass so far to my door? Oh, sure. So far.
Hell no. Hell no. What the fuck? Watch this. You work for Polo now. Yeah. Man, that shit amazing, bro. Man, I'm gonna tell you, homeboy and that was on some straight other shit. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. But yo, you want a motherfucker though. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. What would you do is grab Rico, one of his top men, bring the ass down here. Hell yeah. Got yeah. the witch that got the ass. You know what I'm saying? That little bit. Right. Though. Right, right. Uh. Sure, you, Mr. Harold. You'll be able to complete the job that those amateurs couldn't. Yeah, they aren't very intelligent, but they are damn ruthless. They just need some intellectual guidance, and that's where you two come in. We don't need them. I agree. You had double the manpower? I'm just gonna make them twice as dumb. Why, you little fat. How hard I can it be to find some cheap suit wearing lawyer? <sighs> Look, boss, just give us one day. One day. We we'll have him and the woman here. You have eight hours. Yeah? Send them in. What's with the stiffs, boss? These are two hired assassins, and they're here to help you two dollars with your shortcomings. Boss, we don't need any help. You don't have any other alternative because this is a direct order from Rico. Boss, we got another- Shut up. You've made me look bad enough. Now, I want you two to give them your full cooperation. You understand? Yes, yeah, sir. I'm putting Riker in charge and I don't expect any more mistakes. Have her in my office by sundown. If you fail, Rico has ordered me to showcase all four of you in your own personal pine condos. Mm. Here. I want you to go to high rollers, shake the tree and see what falls. Then stake out the lawyer's office. Now all four of you, get the hell out of here. Dumb C and slow. Man, I have had enough of your midget mouth. Come on, man. You got business to take care of. When we're finished with this, I'm gonna come back here and knock a couple inches off your secretary ass. I'm the office coordinator. Dress and hurry up. I went to my office to retrieve a phone number of a friend who worked as a prosecutor, Angela Thompson. I was hoping to open up the favor bank to obtain information on this RICO. Angela turned me on to Lisa Scarborough, the lead district attorney that had recently investigated RICO's organization. With my back firmly against the wall, I had Angela set up an immediate impromptu meeting with Miss Scarborough. 
Come on, no one of these amateurs couldn't get the job done. your memory? <laughs> well... Information first. Okay. I'll go and talk to some of the girls. They were friends with her. Okay. Be right here. All right. Bring it right here. Why you gotta be so cheap? Hey. Hey. You looking for cream? Yeah, I am. I'm looking for an address, phone number, something. So introduce yourselves. Well, I'm Moist. I'm Fantasy. Night. Paradise. Portland. And I'm Agent 69. Damn. Well, so tell me, how much for a naked lap dance? Luke, I'm trying to conduct business here. Sorry. Pardon me, ladies, for my colleague has no manners. That's okay. What can you tell me about Naomi? Well, she always kept it on the down low. I dropped her off once on Grand River. Shh, girls, here comes Cat Daddy. Bitches, I need you dressed and ready in five, five! Yeah, whatever. So what can you tell me about Naomi? I need you to fuck out of here. The show starts in less than an hour. We're not finished, so fucking go. Okay. If you're going to stay, you're going to have to pay. Oh, really? <laughs> no, no. No need for violence. They were just leaving. Just leaving. Oh, right, right. Like I said. Like my partner said. We'll leave when we're finished. Cat Daddy, see? You need now! <laughs> what was that all about? Ladies, come on in. Everything's fine. What's this guy? Come on in. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I don't know who that guy was. Everything's fine, though. Come on in. Have a seat. Join us. I'll get you a drink. Come in, ladies. With your fine ass selves. Sorry about all that crazy stuff. So, is there anything you can do to help me find Naomi? Shit, that's all we got. Seven, baby. Oh, your money about to leave you like Granny Hill left the Pistons. Ah, yeah. What? What the hell happened to you? Those guys just took me oh. in the club. Where these motherfuckers at? Down the basement. Let's go get the Let's go! Why don't you just give me a card and I'll call you if something comes up? Give her a card, bro. Yeah, right. These people can't do anything worth all of this effort. Sorry. How the fuck you come come to <laughs> give me back? Hey, man, no, 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 no. Put your guns down and maybe I'll let you live. Fuck you, we ain't looking for no trouble. Yeah, the trouble just found you. <laughs> Get out of here. Let's go see the lawyer. Wesley, you can have a seat over there. Hey, you know, I appreciate you seeing me on such short notice. Angela's my sorority sister. I'll do anything for her. Great. 
Well, now, what can you tell me about this uh, jerk, Rico, huh? I mean, any information you provide... Shh, please lower your voice. You never know who works for Rico. You don't want to get involved with these guys. They're ruthless. You know, it's too late. They've already involved me. I was assigned to investigate Rico's organization when I was a rookie detective, along with my partner. Names of high officials began turning up. Politicians, mayors, judges, and other police officers. During the investigation, my partner and I were given a choice. To drop the case and keep our mouths shut or die. My partner made a fatal choice. And obviously, I made the right one. The choice, huh? He always gives people a choice. Why? Something about everyone must be held accountable for the choices he or she makes. So where can I uh, find this philosopher, Rico? I headed up the investigation for six months. Frankly, I don't know if anyone has ever seen Rico. <laughs> What's funny? Have you ever heard of the Rico statue? Yeah, I believe it has something to do with the mob, right? RICO stands for Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organization Act. It's how some of the people in the Gambino family were brought down. <laughs> this RICO bastard has the balls to name himself after the statute that could very well put him away for the rest of his life. This guy must be some head case, huh? Surely your investigation must have been making some progress for Rico to uh, issue you the choice, right? I know we were onto something. Especially since we had Rico's highest subordinates under 24-hour surveillance. Here. Those are some pictures of Mr. Harold. I would bank on him being one of Rico's top confidants. This is everything that I have on Rico's organization. Maybe there's something here you can use. Thanks, Lisa. You don't know how much I appreciate this. Be careful. You are playing on most dangerous grounds. Is it him? Hey, Omi. Hey, any luck finding Jacob? That's okay. I think we may have a bargaining chip. Yeah, I'll tell you about it when I get there. Hey, where are you? Okay, I'll be there in 10 minutes. All right. He'll lead us right to the strip and park. There she is. I told you he'd lead us right to the stripping whore. Hey man, let's go snatch her ass up now. Nah, let's wait till they come to a stop. Then we'll do it. JT, Rico's men are following us. I'll try and lose them in the Belle Isle Woods. Hurry up! Wesley, what we gonna do? Don't worry about it. JT's gonna take care of it. Guarantee you that.
coming right behind us. No, it's part of the plan. Come out! Hey man, don't make me have to walk through this shit. You wanna die for this fucking bitch? Huh? You about lived your usefulness, buddy. Take care of Chuck, man. Rico's gonna die today. Jumps out ass. Huh. Those two thugs that was trying to kill us. Let's see oh, the infamous Mr. Hero. <laughs> you know, my friend believes that he's uh, one of Rico's highest subordinates. Hey, look. There he is. Who? My ex, Jacob. No good bastard. Oh damn. I think my boy Nick caught up in this shit.
Yo, I got it, man. Check out my boy Nick. See if he can lead us as Mr. Hero. All right. Sounds good. Look, Naomi, you uh wait here until I give you a call, alright? Okay. If anything happens, you can give me a call on my cell phone. Alright. Alright. Be careful, okay? I will. What's up, JT? It's life or death right now. That's why everybody comes to Nick, the original Don Dada. It ain't never as bad as it seems, brother. It's Rico. That's good for now, Tammy. Okay, I'm done. Let's step back into my office. Come on. You mentioned Rico? Yeah. See that motherfucker? He killed two of my top men. And I shot my cousin. Oh, you're lucky. In all the time I've been dealing with Rico, I ain't never heard anyone live to say Rico tried to kill them. See, that shouldn't even matter tonight. Because tonight, it's Rico's gonna die. We got this picture out of him. In a former vice cop's uh, investigation file. Uh, some of the surveillance was of you and this Mr. Hero guy and uh, my friend's ex-fiance. Uh, we're thinking uh, that the road to Rico leads right through this Mr. Hero. That ain't a bad place to start, my friend. Because when Rico got word that my salons was a front for my gun smuggling operation, I had to pay him through Mr. Hero. Oh, yeah, speaking of Oh, friends. and there's some cop running around town. He's supposed to be Rico's right-hand man. Hmm. Yo, dog, check it out. I'm gonna get a couple pistols from you on credit. Oh, you're gonna need some top of the line shit, my friend. What you got? These. Whoa, shit. These come with armor piercing bullets. You hit Rico with one of these fuckers, he ain't coming back. <laughs> this is the fuck I'm talking about right here. If you pull this off, brother, you'll be saving us true self righteous businessmen. Thousands and thousands of dollars a month. You know what I'm saying? I got you right. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, where's this Mr. Harold's headquarters at, huh? Downtown in the Whitney, Tower 2, floor 45. But you better watch your back because security is a motherfucker. Got you, man. Be looking out. Take care, JT. Nice meeting you, Wesley. Likewise, man. Likewise.
order. Yo, since it's Saturday, it's gonna look better if only one of us walks in. But, man, come on, both of us can go in. Nah, see, this is Rico's top man. You know what I'm saying? This game's tied in that other street, though. You wait here, watch my back, make sure I come out all right. Yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. I'm more than right. A message from Rico. The lawyers and associates killed Riker and the rest of the illustrious A team. Those miserable bastards! How can a panty wearing lawyer cause me so much grief? Get up is so hard to find. Leave me alone. I need to think this through. Hello, this is Wesley. Hello? Hi, Wes. Naomi, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Well, where are you? Um, Wes, I'm leaving. No, I'm leaving town. Maybe that wouldn't be a bad idea. At least until this blows over. No, Wes, I'm... I'm leaving town for good. Damn it. Well, do you need any money? Anything? No. I've got enough money. Well, can I can I at least come and see you? Come on, let him come see you, baby. Wes. My train leaves in 10 minutes. Just catch the next one. Naomi. Naomi. Wait, Na Naomi. Naomi, wait. May I help you, sir? <gasps> You must be one of Wesley's cohorts. You sure got some balls coming in here. You got damn right. You fucked the wrong person this time. I'm sorry your pals met with their untimely demise. What? Look behind you. Fuck I look like. <clears throat> Get Mr. Tanner on the phone right away. <laughs> right away, sir. Pardon me. And inject him with number five. My pleasure. You don't know how glad I am to see you. Are you holding back on me? I feel like Regis. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Don't give me ah! fuck. Don't me! I don't tolerate disrespect. I'll shoot you first. Yeah. Yeah, I have the girl and the money. The warehouse? Okay. 
Don't worry about them, I'll take care of them. These damn slow elevators. Mr. Harold, be careful on these elevators. One is stuck between this floor and the roof. I see you have a problem there. Yeah, I discovered one of my employees is a cokehead. And I'm gonna cure him if it kills him. <laughs> I bet you're a good person to work for. Have a nice day. You too. Take me to Mr. Harold. He left. With who? Some guy. Where are you? Okay. Let's get him inside. Shit, I forgot my laptop in the car. Hurry back. Is he still drugged? Out of his fucking mind. 
Better check. He might have a high tolerance for drugs. Yeah, well, I hope you have a high tolerance for hollow points. Get the fuck away from my cousin. Yeah. I want you to drive me to Rico. Right now. Or die. Okay, we're leaving. I want you to drive while the midget rides in the back seat with us. Great work, Wesley. I've had Mr. Harold under surveillance for a long time now. Yeah? Well, right now he's gonna take me to Rico. Wesley, put down the gun and let me take care of this. Make the right choice, Wesley. Yeah, everyone got a choice. He always gives people a choice. You have a choice. Wesley, drop the gun. Wesley! No! No. I'm gonna have to handle this one, Dan. I don't know if I can trust any cops right now. You can trust me. We're very close to bringing Rico down. Don't do anything to jeopardize our investigation. Other police officers. Well, if I were you, I'd make the right choice. What? You're, you're a part of this. You work for Rico. You're crazy. That fucking stripper's got you pussy whipped. No. No. You're the fucking cop! Look at how I dress. My car? Damn it, Wesley. Drop the fucking gun. You really fucked up, Wesley. Now I got you, the girl, and the fucking money. Excellent. Where is it? It's in my car. I'll bring it in. Calling me a midget? I should shoot you. I guess it's all in here. No, wait. What is it? There's a disc in here. Well, let's see what's on it. Yeah, you may have stashed the money somewhere else. I don't think that's such a good idea. Nonsense, Jeffrey. But then use your laptop. That's okay, I'll use my new microcomputer. It appears to be in some kind of encrypted code. Jeffrey, you're a computer whiz. See if you can decipher the code. Look at God damn it, that's private information. I don't think Rico's gonna want us to look at it. Wait, I've cracked the code. Wait a minute. 
What is it? It appears to be structural information about Rico's organization. And look at this. What? RICO's an acronym. An acronym for what? Regional Covert Crime Organization. I thought RICO meant Racketeering Corruption Act. Jeffrey, keep an eye on them while I take a look. This is everything on RICO. I'm going to send him an email right now. You tell him that I was very instrumental in bringing this whole matter to a successful conclusion. Too late. You stingy bastard. You've got mail. to fax to Rico. This just it. He got it. All this time I thought you worked for me. <laughs> you idiotic buffoon. You work for me? No. Up until now. I'm gonna have to find another stooge. Don't kill me. We can still work together. I'll work for you. I'll be your assistant. I'll bring you lattes. No! No one needs to know who I am. Zero. You fired. I never knew a stripping bitch and a computer geek fiance could cause me so much trouble. Or you'll die. Just like he did. <laughs> All your lifelines are gone. That's right. Pass Des Moines has been the safest city in America right now. Right. I don't know where Des Moines is, man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, y'all just make sure y'all use the power of Rico as something positive for this city, all right? Hey, rest yeah. assured. Anyway, how could we not? I mean, after all, you watching over our shoulder every minute. <laughs> yeah, well, y'all just make sure y'all go ahead and uh, keep y'all nose clean, too. Oh, listen right? to him talk. Tomorrow and Dreddy. <laughs> she must know about my tickets. Tickets? Wes. Yeah, that's right. See, Rico knows about everything, dog. For sure. I'm gonna give you a choice now. Man, come <laughs> on. Try to get on in here and get some of this famous lasagna, huh? Yeah. Hey, it turns out my secretary didn't make a mistake with the directions after all, <laughs> but that I had, in fact, made a wrong turn. <laughs> Just like a guy. I always blame it on the woman.